So what does this and slimes have in common? Can you figure it out? Hint. Slimes come up on this track. And there's the lag, of course. I have this set up here so that it will spawn things downstairs in a slime chunk. At which point they'll come to this corner here and get in this minecart. When this minecart becomes occupied by a mob, or anything else really, except for its chest, it'll come up here. And then, my redstone here will send another cart down to pick up another slime. You can up at the top, put another one in, and it'll just come right down into this pest dispenser here. The way I have it set up is that this will go into a one tick shortener after a short delay. So you only have one tick going into this piston and this repeater here. This piston, because it is a um, sticky piston, you'd think it'd normally pull a block back. However, but when it only is supplied with a one tick pulse, it'll just push the block out and will not pull it back in. Which will then, when it's pulled in, allow this redstone here to connect. When it's not, it'll short it out so it will not connect. And this is hooked up to the Pez Dispenser, which is right here. When a cart is sent, it'll just pick it up, send it in, and it'll send another cart down. When it's coming back down, that it'll fire it again. However, it won't send a cart because of the T flip-flop there. It's a very nice system. It allows me to get up to 20 levels just while working around a, my base. Works very nicely. I only have a one chunk slot in the spawning pad. Stuff like this. Not very efficient, but it works. Anyway. When a slime gets in it, it'll just get in the minecart, which will now have enough power and momentum to go up here, and it'll take you all the way up. Makes it very fast and simple. So you don't have to walk down to your slime farm to get your slimes. Also, you can get experience off them, which makes a very nice, simple experience farm if you want extra experience. And you can just put the cart back in, and it will head right back down on the other line into the Pez Dispenser. The Pez Dispenser is so can hold, I believe, four carts. Um, I think I only have two in it right now. So, but you can have four. I recommend only putting three in it if you want, in case you, ha for whatever reason, do not have this cart here. If that cart there is missing, all you have to do is put in a um, another cart on this line up at the top, and it will reset itself if that cart has not been sent because the pest dispenser is empty. You do not want to put it down here, and then send another pulse in here, because you'll have to send two pulses, and that is rather annoying. So if you just put down that line, it becomes much simpler. Um, the reason the shaft is so big is so that even the largest slimes can go up here without suffocating, and I believe actually, no, actually I've already done that. Um, if you make this any smaller, they will start suffocating when they go around, and they even do suffocate a little bit when they go around corners and such. And, yeah, very nice system, get lots of levels, simple. Also, it works in SP, as you can see, that's why I have it built. I haven't actually tested it in single player. Should work there too. I don't see why I would not.